Hi, myself Fayaz from Dugasoft. Now I am going to discuss an important topic that is coding and decoding. So coding and decoding. Uh, we know the importance of this topic. So for any company's placement paper, we can expect the questions from this topic. And not even in the placements, even for the competitive exams or banking, so we can expect certain questions. Now, so such an important topic is this coding and decoding. Now we are going to discuss about this. Now let's see. So in order to solve these coding and decoding questions, uh, first of all, you should know the alphabet values. So what do you mean by alphabet values? Simply the serial numbers are the base values of each and every alphabets. So let me explain what it is. When we write all the alphabets, now, if I start giving the numbers from 1, each and every alphabet is getting a value. Suppose A is getting 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. So like that, Z will be getting exactly 26. So like this, each and every alphabet is having a number. So we can consider that number as the serial number or the order or the base value or value. So whatever it is, simply it is uh, representing the serial number of these alphabets. So now, if I ask what is the value of A, definitely it is 1. And for B, it is 2. For C, it is 3. And so on. Suppose after writing 26 let here letters, if I want 27th. So once we complete 26, again we are coming back and taking the first alphabet that is A. That means when I ask the 27th letter, we are going to repeat once again those alphabets from A. Suppose if I want 28th, definitely it is B. Suppose if I want 30th letter, now 4th after this. So fourth letter is nothing but D. In this way we can find here alphabets whether it is uh, less than 26 or more than 26. So beyond 26 alphabets we can take again the repetition of the first alphabet. So in the same way we will repeat. Now in order to solve these questions we should know these values. For that the simple thing is you can write all the alphabets and practice with the numbers. So once you write twice, thrice, you will get the values easily. So whenever we are having certain practice, we can answer easily. So you need to practice. Now coming to some alphabets, actually we are having a logic to remember the values of alphabets. Suppose if I take two alphabets, G, Q. The number what we can find in these two alphabets is 7. So we are having the number 7 in these two alphabets. So the total alphabets, if we write only once, we are getting 26 alphabets. So in the 26 numbers, we are getting 7 twice. One is 7 and the second time we are getting in 17. So 7 and 17, these two numbers are having the digit 7. Now so that G and Q value definitely related to those numbers because these two are having 7. That's why what I can do is G is a first letter between these two letters. If you consider G is the first and Q next. That's why the first number 7 is given to G and the second value that is 17 is given to the second letter. So in this way G value 7, Q value 17. Now let me take another pair of letters that is M double. Now when you observe these two letters definitely you can find a digit. The digit we can expect here is 3. So just like 3, so now let's observe how many times we are getting a 3 in 26 numbers. So we will get 
in 3 and 13. So in these two cases we are finding the digit 3 in these two numbers and apart from this once again we will get in 23. So totally 3 times we are getting the digit 3. We know the third letter is C. It is clearly known. So third letter is C. So we can avoid this. Now the remaining options are 13 and 23. So the remaining options we are having are 13 and 23. If you observe the first number is 13, that's why the first alphabet. So in alphabetical order, first we get M. That's why the first number is given to this. Next, the second one is W. That's why the second number is given to 23. So M value become 13, W value become 23. So in this way, you can remember the values of M and W easily. Now let us take some other alphabets. Now, H. When you consider this H, actually when I write this, when you close and make it a closed circuit, this represents the number 8. That's why H value is simply 8. Next. R. Now when I write R, and here also I am going to make closed circuit. Here also you are finding 8. But we know that only twice we are getting 8 in 26 numbers. That is 8 and 18. Already 8 is given to H. And the other option we left is 18. That's why R value is 18. So in this way you can remember R value as 18. Next. Generally, we write this alphabet what it is. It is I. Generally, whenever you are writing, you can write this I. The number what you can find in this letter is 9. So, simply I value become 9. Next. L. Now, if you pronounce this number 12, when we pronounce 12, here itself we are saying 12 is ending with L. 12 L, that's why L value become 12. So we can remember this L value as 12 because when we pronounce this number 12, clearly we are getting L. So L value become 12. Next, F. Now we can fix F value. So what we are doing? We are going to fix F value. So fix F value as 6. So fix 6. F is fixed as 6. That's why simply F value is 6. Now. V. Generally the symbol is for victory. So whenever we are getting victory generally we can show like this so victory symbol so what we are doing here is simply we are telling something we are passing some message like v value is a 2 and 2 so that is what we are doing v value is 2 and 2 so v value become 22 so what we are saying v value 2 and 2 so that's why v value is 22 now Uh, there is a IPL team, Kings 11 Punjab. So easily you can remember K value, Kings 11. So K value is 11. If not, when we are writing K, sometimes even we can write like this also. Simply we can write like this also. So what we are doing, we are taking half of V. So half of this value is 11. So in that way also you can remember K value as 11. Next another one is T. 
you know the value of t and you can remember easily because nowadays the famous term is t20 so everyone knows about t20 matches so t20 actually why they have started that format is to make you understand t value as 20 that's why they have given that name so easily you can remember t value as 20 by that logic so in this way we can remember uh, most of the letters easily and to get all the alphabet values as i said there is no other secret than practice simply write twice thrice including the numbers you will get each and every alphabet the moment i ask you to write the number of any alphabet suppose if i ask s you will get 19 if i ask w you will get 23 if i ask you to write g value you will write 7 if i ask you to write m value 13 if i ask you to write x value you can get 24 if i ask you to write ninth letter you can write i if i ask you to write 25th letter you can write y so in this way you can remember all the values once you practice now so let me give you another set that is i have a friend and her name is jyoti actually there is a mistake in spelling but you need to consider the same and surname is e now we met at the age of five and then we completed schooling up to fifth class in the same school and then she was 10 after that we went to high school and done schooling then she was exactly 15 years and then we completed our plus two and graduation in the same college then she was exactly 20 and at the present she is 25 now from this what you can understand is e value 5 j value 10 o value 15 t value 20 and y value 25 so you can remember the values of e j o t y in this way 5 10 15 20 25 so like that for some letters you can remember easily if you want all the letters you just keep on practice so once you remember those letters you can answer these type of questions easily so now we are going to discuss about those questions then you will come to know the importance of these values now let me write all the alphabets once a b c d e When we are writing all the alphabets, all the 26 alphabets in this way. So how we are writing the first half part, we are writing from left to right. And the second half part, again, we are writing in the second row. So when we are writing in this way, we are getting set of letters, pairs or set of letters. A and N is one set. D, Q is one set. G, T is one set, J, W is one set. Now, so we are calling these letters as pair letters. So when we are getting set of letters like this, so we can take them as pair letters or sometimes we may refer as corresponding letters, whether we consider it as a pair letters or corresponding letters the meaning or the logic is same so what do you mean by that what do you mean by pair letters uh, simply when we are writing these letters in two rows in two lines we are getting set of letters those set are those sets are called as a pair letters now as of now it is clear because all the letters are written clearly we can expect if i ask the pair letter of d immediately you can show q or if i ask pair letter of t you can give me the answer as g but without writing all the alphabets like this how to get the pair letters easily 
If you understand the logic, you can write easily. Now let's see what is that logic. For that, you need to know all the values of alphabets. A value is exactly 1, N 14, 4. Suppose if I give all the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, let's see the logic. When you consider the set of letters or the paid letters, if you observe the values 1, 14 or 4, 17, 7, 20, any pair, not only these particular pairs, consider any pair, you can understand the logic and the logic is same for all the pairs. That is simply if you observe the difference between these two alphabet values, it is clearly 13. Now, if you observe the value of D and Q, the difference between 4 and 17 is 13. If you observe the difference between these two alphabets, that is 720 means 13 difference. And once again, 10, 23, difference is 13. 12, 25, difference is 13. If you take the last pair, 13, 26, difference is 13. So, in this way, the difference between the values of paired letters is always 13. Suppose tomorrow, if I ask you to write the paired letter of F, F is fixed as 6, we know that. Now, the difference should be 13. So, what number I can give here to get the difference of 13? That is 19. And 19th letter is simply S. Yes. That's why F and S yes become paired letters. So, in this way, we can understand the logic where the difference is 13. Now, so without writing all the alphabets also, you can decide the pair letter for any alphabet. So, you can check with any pair. So, that's how we can take. Suppose if I ask what is the pair letter of x, x value is 24 and the difference should be 13. To get the difference of 13, it should be 11, 11th letter you know, okay. So you just check. So in that way we are getting the pair letters. So that's how you can remember the logic and these pair letters will be useful in getting the solution for some kind of questions. We will come to know about that. As of now just see the logic how we are getting the pair letters now. If I write the second half in reverse order, instead of writing from left to right, if I write those second half letters from right to left, let's see what will happen. Now. So, in this case, when we consider again some sets, we are getting here another particular logic. For that, let me give you the numbers 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Now, those letters are called as pair letters. Now we need to give another name. Since we are writing in opposite direction, let's take the name as opposite pair letters. Opposite pair letters. Now we know the logic for pair letters where the difference is 13. But in this case, let's see the logic. If you consider this set, 1, 26. If you consider the second one, 4, 23. And here 7, 20. And in this case 10, 17. And here 12, 15. So from this what we can understand is simply the sum of any set 
वन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन इन दिस केस फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन सेवन प्लस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड हियर आल्सो ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड फॉर दिस सेट आल्सो वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी सेवन सो इन दिस वे द लॉजिक फॉर ऑपोजिट पेयर लेटर्स इज गेटिंग द सम ऑफ वैल्यूज एज ट्वेंटी सेवन so in this case we are taking these letters as opposite pair letters where the sum of alphabet values is giving a sum as 27 suppose if i need to get a opposite pair letter without writing all these alphabets let me take one example i want opposite pair letter of i we know that i value is 9 and if i am taking opposite pair letters definitely the sum should be 27 in order to get a sum of 27 we need to add 18 to 9 and we know that 18th letter is r that's why i and r become opposite pair letters now if you want you just consider so in this way you can find the opposite pair letter of any alphabet suppose if i take u u value 21 to get 27 sum we should add 6 and sixth letter is f so you can find these two as opposite pair letter so in this way here the sum of 27 we are getting every time in the previous case we were getting the difference as the 13 so these two are the logic so from that logic you can understand what is the pair letter or what is the opposite pair letter directly without writing all these alphabets and as we discuss when the number cross 26 like 27th letter i want we can take ye yeah, because we have only 26 letters so this can be written as 26 plus 1 that's why the first letter is ye suppose if i want 36th letter so here 36 can be written as 26 plus 10 that's why 10th letter which is j so in this way suppose if i ask 48th letter so this can be written as 26 plus 22 where 22nd letter is simply v that's why 48th letter or 22nd letter is same suppose if i want 55th letter now you can subtract 26 if you subtract 26 the answer you are getting is 29 that means this can be written as 26 plus 29 now once again 29 can be written as 26 plus 3 that's why third letter c this is same as 29th letter and that is same as 55th letter so instead of doing this twice simply what you can understand here is the multiples of 26 first multiple 26 and then 52 78 and 104 and so on whenever i want 55th letter it is more than 52 directly subtract 52 the answer is 3 third letter is c suppose if i want 80th letter it is greater than 78 so simply subtract 78 second letter is b so in that way we can understand the required alphabets logic so where it is greater than 26 now so by using these values now we are going to solve certain questions from this topic so in this topic some type of questions will be depending upon the values of alphabets like we discuss 1 2 3 4 values to the alphabets a b c d so we are taking those values in order to solve some type of questions now let's see how we can use those values suppose if i take bat is equals to 23 now cut is equals to 44 
so the values will be given like that the question will be in a certain coding language bat value is given as 23 cut value is equals to 44 then what is the value of sit so now we need to answer here the value of sit now how I am taking 23 for bat or 44 for cut the logic is very simple the values of the alphabets from the given words we need to calculate now when you add all these values 2 plus 1 plus 20 is giving exactly 23 now for cut C value 3 U value 21 and T value 20 so 3 plus 21 plus 20 which is giving exactly 44 that's why the value was given as 44 in the same way now for the given word sit we should add all the alphabet values that is 19 for s and for i it is 9 and for t it is 20 so the value will become 19 plus 9 28 plus 20 48 so in this way we can answer for sit so the logic is simply adding the values of alphabets so this is the answer for sit now let's take another example which is related to the same kind of values but there is a difference like question is if get equals to 35 1 equals to 37 what is the value for 2 here also it is related to the values of those alphabets but not exactly the sum of those values now let's see what is the exact value of those letters 7 5 20 when we add these values 7 plus 5 12 plus 20 actually it is 32 but the answer was given as 35 means we are adding 3 to the total next 1 it is 15 it is 14 and it is 5 when we add these values so 15 plus 14 29 plus 5 actually it is 34 again it was taking as 37 means we added 3 once again so from these two examples what we can understand is to write the code for 2 we should add 3 to the value now what is the value of 2 it is 20 and it is 23 and it is 15 so add all these values 43 and 58 but we should add 3 here that's why the answer for 2 will become 61 so in this way we can apply the same logic it depends upon the given examples so whatever they are taking we should follow the same if they are taking directly the values the sum of values like in the previous example we will take the same value if they are adding some constant value to the sum we should follow the same so in this way we can answer now let's take another example like in is equals to 25 above is equals to 50 then what is the value for down so here the value of in is given as 25 and above value is given as 50 and we want down now let's see what we can do actually when you add these two 9 plus 14 is 23 but 
the result was given as 25 so from this what we can understand is 2 is added now above 1 plus 2 plus 15 plus 22 plus 5 so 27 20 40 to 45 when you add all these values we are getting exactly 45 but the result was taking as 50 means I am adding 5 